Hello and welcome all to this new series on understanding regression. Regression is a very important concept in machine learning. So today I will be going over what is mean squared error or mean squared loss in terms of machine learning to understand regression better and I am Divya Thakur. Suppose the principal of a school wants to hire a mathematics teacher. So he gets an application from two teachers that is teacher 1 and teacher 2 respectively. And he allots them 5 pupils each and asks them to teach these 5 pupils and later on he will take test of these pupils on that concept to see who has taught these students better. So 5 students have been allotted to teacher 1 and 5 students have been allotted to teacher 2. So now it's test time. The principal deduces a simple method that is what he'll do is he'll take the average or mean of the marks that those five pupils are getting which means that he'll add the marks of each student that is student A, B, C, D and E and divide it by number of students which is five. Then he'll see whose mean or whose average is more and he'll hire that respective teacher. Now it's test time. So teacher 1 has the following result for the 5 students that she has taught and teacher 2 is having the following results for the students that she taught. So now when principal sum these marks up, he noticed that the total is 70 and so the mean of both the teachers is coming out to be 14 and he is baffled by this result. Now what to do? How to hire? So the ever smiling principal comes up with another solution which is taking out the mean squared error or residuals of all these marks that the pupils have scored. So for teacher 1 these are the students that were allotted to her and these are their marks. So what the principal did is he drew a number line and plotted the mean marks and also the marks scored by individual pupils. So this is the 9 mark that C pupil scored. These are the 12, 13, 17, 19 marks that each pupil scored denoted by a, a red dot. And he also plotted the mean value on the number line. Now he calculated the distance of each of these pupils from this mean value that is 19 minus 14 the marks that these that this pupil scored minus the mean marks so this is the distance between the actual value and the observed the deduced value which is 14 so 19 minus 14 is 5 17 minus 14 is 3 9 minus 14 is minus 5 13 minus 14 is minus 1 12 minus 14 is minus 2 so again when he summed these residuals he again saw that these residuals have a property of cancelling each other out and the sum is 0 which is uh, 5 plus 3 8 and minus 5 minus 1 minus 2 are forming minus 8 so 8 minus 8 becomes 0. So next step what he did is he took the squared of these errors and then took an average or took a mean of these squared errors. So 5 square plus 3 square plus minus 5 whole square plus minus 1 whole square plus minus 2 whole square is giving me the sum 64. Then he took a mean of these mean that is he took mean squared error which is coming out to be 12.4 for teacher number 1. Now the principal repeated the same steps for teacher number 2. So he again drew a number line, plotted the marks of each of the pupils, also plotted this mean value with a dotted line and then he took the residuals which is 14 minus 14, 15 minus 14, 16 minus 14 and so on. Then again these residuals summed up to 0 and he again took a square of these, added them up and divided by the number of pupils which is 5 that is took the mean of these squared errors or squared residuals and observed that this is 2 
so voila he has some different observations for teacher one and teacher two finally now it's decision time so principal is seeing that the mean squared error for teacher number one is 12.4 but it's two for teacher number two which is less so now the principal said to the teacher number two that congratulations you are being hired so what made the difference it means that less your mse is more efficient you are or more efficient your model is because your model is centered around the observed values is not varying that much so it's more predictable for this model to get the right answer than this one so it can be that these students who scored 19 and 17 are going to some coaching center while these three students didn't get that concept that teacher one taught them that crisply but all these five students here near about got the concept that teacher two taught them so this is why the principal hired the teacher number two so i hope you understood what mean squared error is and how it helps to evaluate a model so let's code it using scikit-learn and numpy this is the univariate analysis to calculate mean squared loss that is we are having only one variable which is marks for each of the student and then we are predicting we are forming uh, we are predicting the mean squared loss so for teacher one this is the table of students with marks and this is the number nine that the principal had plotted so using numpy i have formed a list of the given values which is 19, 17, 9, 13, 12, the marks of the pupils. So I've formed a list of that. So this means that I've taken the original values and formed a list. Now I see that the calculated value is 14. Because NumPy uh, supports broadcasting, it will do what? It will take this number 14 and form a list out of it. That is 14, 14, 14, five times. And now, uh, we are calculating the mean squared error. So let me write it for you over here. So what we are doing, because we have, are using the alias NP for NumPy. So I'm doing what? I'm subtracting. Remember, we were subtracting and getting the residuals. So I'm subtracting the Y true from this Y print. So both will form this kind of a list and each value will get subtracted with 14. Now I have to square square all of these respective values that I'm getting and then add them. So I'll just do np dot square square these values and now I have to take a mean of these values. Now I'll be printing my MSC to see if it matches what we had just deduced so I see something over here yes. okay so I'm having a typo it's subtract and let's run the cell and yes we are indeed getting 12.8 as our answer so how can the same thing without writing all of this logic be done using scikit-learn so scikit-learn has a sub-module known as metrics and in these metrics for evaluating our model we are having mean squared error so from scikit-learn that is sklearn.metrics i have imported this mean squared error directly and again i have declared the true values in a list format and the predicted value also in a list format so scikit-learn doesn't support broadcasting so keep in mind you have to explicitly form a list of these predicted values that is 14 and match it with the same shape of the list above and simply you have to declare a variable msc and use this mean squared error and in brackets because this is a function over here use y true comma wipe red you don't have to write all of this logic over here so if I ran this cell it's giving me 12.8 again so you can repeat this step for teacher 2 again uh, 
compute it by using numpy and then again with scikit-learn to see yes this is two indeed so this is all i hope you enjoyed watching the video if you did please give it a like there and subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming up more with these kind of videos on regression and on machine learning so thanks for watching